Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. Hey, welcome everybody. In this video, we're gonna be branching for the first time in our program. That is, if you're ready. <laughs> All right, that was pretty bad. I actually recorded this once and said that accidentally and I was like, dang, that's pretty good. All right, so what are we gonna be doing? We're gonna be creating an if statement and this is what it's gonna look like. So right now we're checking if this person can drink alcohol because we're gonna be building like, you know, a wine subscription service where we send wines to you every month and you have to be 21. So at some point you could probably calculate this from a birthday, but we're just going to be using simple integers to keep it nice and simple. But later on you can do whatever you want. So where I live, you have to be 21 to drink. Now, if you're from like Germany or something, maybe it's like 12, so change it as needed. But for us, we're going with 21. So that's why age has to be greater than 20. So instead of just printing can drink and getting false, what if we checked and branch depending on what that value is. Here's what that's gonna look like. We would say if, and then we could take this comparison right here and cut it and paste it right here. And we can just get rid of that variable. So if age is greater than 20, colon, and that's important, don't forget the colon. That's the first time we've used a colon in any of our code. Then what you do is you hit enter and you put what you want to happen if the person is over the age of 20. So we can print Welcome to our app. So right now age is 15, so this is going to be false. And it doesn't execute if it's false. So every time I run this, nothing happens. But if we were to change age to 50, well hey now, we run this, and look at that, it says welcome to our app. So there is your first example of branching. Now the cool part is, is we can actually get this number from input as long as you remember to cast it. So we need to pass it to the int constructor, like so. Run this bad boy and check this out. It's asking us for our age, we put 50, and it says welcome to our app. Now anything after this if statement is still going to execute. Just make sure you unindent, so we'll say print. Thanks for trying our app. This is going to execute either way. So if we run this and we put the value 50 for our age, it says, welcome to our app, thanks for trying our app. If we run it again, and this time we say 12 is our age, it says, thanks for trying our app, and it completely skips this line right here. So yeah, now our app is dynamic. We've covered two different cases, one where the age is greater than 20, and one where the age is 20 or lower. The only improvement I would suggest is to actually prompt the user for their age. So we could say, print, what is your age? Now when we run it, it asks us our age, which is a more appropriate thing to do for our application. You can say 21, and it says welcome to our app. Now we are going to build upon this if statement, but one thing I wanted to talk about in the next video is this whole argument of spaces versus tabs and what in the world's going on with that. So stay tuned for that, and don't you dare forget to subscribe. All right, see you then.